One of the many wise things that my mentor, Larry Dennis, often says is that when we cut off access to one half of the emotional spectrum, namely when we try to avoid feeling the negative feels, then we are also simultaneously limiting our ability to feel the good vibrations. This has been totally 100% my experience lately, uh, doing it the correct way, I should say, in that I have had many, many, many moments of very strong negative emotions. And there are times where I'm just like, you know what, it's time for a cry. And I check out for 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. Maybe I sit in my room by myself or take a shower and let the waterworks flow. And it helps to process all that negative energy out of my body. And so almost every single day for honestly months now, I've had at least one moment where I'm just like, my life sucks. And I work my way through it. I just allow myself to feel those feels. And in that same day, I will also experience moments of elevated bliss, rapture, just like, oh my God, my life is amazing and beautiful. So if I have a call to action for you, it would be to not stifle your emotions. Don't question yourself or don't feel shameful or bad or guiltful or think there's anything wrong with you if you're upset. If you do that, you're not actually going to get rid of those emotions by doing that. You'll push them down, but they're going to be there for a long, long time. This is how I, I used to live this way because you know, I'm a positive, optimistic, fun, loving, joyful guy. And that's the reputation I'd built. That's the self image I held. And little by little, you know, these little pains would come up and I just, I couldn't feel those because I'm too blessed too be too blessed to be stressed, too blessed to feel anxious or sad or any of that, especially when so many other people have so much other worth going on in their lives. So I denied my pain. I denied it until so much of it had accumulated that it became the dominant force in my life. All that negativity that I'd repressed for years came to the surface. That's what caused me to go into depression. And through my depression, I learned how to actually be cool with the fact that sometimes I can have a really good life and still be really upset about it. <laughs> it is what it is. So allow yourself to feel the feels and you do that and you'll, yeah, you'll, it'll feel, but it's better than holding on to it. And on the plus side, by allowing those emotions to move through you, you can also experience heightened highs as well. Peace and blessings to all of you.